The Indiana State baseball team currently 33 and 13 in the Valley and 12 and 6 in the league play. Uh, good for second place in the conference, but the Sycamores also have the league's best RPI, uh, currently sitting at 17. Uh, here to talk things over as we head into next week's uh, baseball championship hosted by Indiana State, we are joined by first year head coach Mitch Hannes of the Sycamores. Coach, how's it going this morning? Going good, going good. Glad to be here this morning. Oh, well, thank you for taking time on your schedule. Uh, you know it's a uh, time of the year where we're all uh, getting set for the championship and you guys are winding down the regular season, but um, it's been a really successful year for you guys, obviously, as a team. Uh, with this being your first year, did you uh, really expect, did, did you have these kinds of expectations coming into to the 2014 season? I, I don't know that any of us knew what to expect. Uh, I think our guys just got in here and got to work in the fall and got back to work in the preseason prior to the, the spring. And uh, in terms of going out that first weekend when we played Auburn and Connecticut and Ohio State a couple of times, we knew our guys were going to compete pretty well. Uh, but it seemed like from that first weekend, we, we had just a little bit of a, a fire to us that, that kind of kept burning and it kept going weekend to weekend. And we maintained it for a long time. And about the middle of the year, we had a little bit of a, I don't want to call it a slump, but we had a little bit of a lull. Uh, and, and hopefully as we get down the stretch here, we can kind of catch that fire again. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, pitching has been a real key for you guys this year. Uh, you guys, as a team, lead the Valley with a 3.18 ERA as of today. Um, 16 saves, uh, fewest runs allowed, obviously, overall. Can you talk a little bit about your pitching staff overall, the job they've done for you this year? They've been tremendous. I think that was the the one area as we talk about going into the season and expectations that we were really, really concerned about. Uh, we didn't return a start from last season. I looked at the preseason prospectus, and I looked at teams returning 40 starts or 52 starts, and we're sitting here with zero. So we had no idea what to expect from those guys because they were all new. And and the fact that they've done just a, a tremendous job of battling, I'm not going to say that we have a, a stopper per se. We have a guy that's just a lockdown arm. But we have a bunch of guys that have that have gone to the mound in terms of Stag and Lombard and Kudrecki as the starters. Uh, and then that bullpen led by Key Faber who have just gone out there and, and they've been able to minimize damage and limit big innings and give us an opportunity to stay in games. Yeah. Now, if anyone pulls up Indiana State's offensive stats, they would see that the Sycamores are led uh, at batting average by a young man that has the same last name as yours. Uh, can you talk a little bit about, if you can, what it's been like to coach your son, not only at the collegiate level, but also at the same place where you played your college baseball as well? Yeah, that's. Uh, I can't say that that's a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> it's a very awkward situation, one that that we really try not to to bring any attention to. Sure. Um, and, and that's worked for us to this point. Uh, I think uh, from the standpoint of the team, it's it's been a group offensively that we we don't have uh, that particular middle of the order. You know, we've had some guys hitting three, four, five, and. Um, we've had, uh, obviously Derek leading us an average from the nine hole. We, we just have an offense that, that, uh, seems like comes from, comes at you from a lot of different angles. Uh, we can hurt you up and down the order. And it seems like that's been our, our mojo. So to say all year is that w we may sleep in certain parts of the order, but there's always a part of that order going to pick us up. And, and he's done a good job of that from the nine hole for us. Yeah. And finally, we talked about it at the beginning. Um, you guys will host the conference tournament next weekend or next week. Um, and then, obviously, with the strong RPI, uh, we'll have a, a great opportunity for postseason play, uh, regardless of what happens. Um, what is the strategy when you're, when you're looking at things like the RPI and setting yourself up for success in the long run? And then what is also a two-part question, you're also your strategy going into the conference tournament and that kind of format, uh, getting your team ready for, for the tournament uh, play? I, I think everything that we've done all year is pointed to the end of the season, and, and we've talked about that a lot. We've talked to our guys a lot about preparing for that conference tournament, being ready to go at the end of the year when it is, when it is tournament time, and, and, and making sure there was an emphasis all season on getting better, and, and our guys have been good at that. We've had some great practices uh, through the middle of the season. We had some great practices when we had 10 days off. Uh, here a week and a half ago. So I, I think the the direction we point has always been to the end of the year. And I think also uh, when you're hosting the tournament, you want to make sure that you you don't come out and lay an egg in your home park. So I think there's a little added 
incentive there for the fact that that we are hosting and and in terms of the other external rpi stuff and all of that we, we've really tried to steer our guys away from that that's hard in today's world with all the information you have access to but uh, i think the important thing is i don't think any team is good enough to get caught up worrying about all that stuff you you better show up at the field and you better play well and you better take care of business yourself and and uh not depend on someone to to put you in a tournament Absolutely. Well, Coach, you guys have obviously had a tremendous season up to this point. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see how things file out with the, the standings as we finish up this weekend. And wish you best of luck as you guys complete the regular season. And we'll see you next week at the tournament. I appreciate that. And I wish you could see Ace's arm shaking right now, but I'll have to tell you about it next week. <laughs> I look forward to hearing about it. Thank you so much, okay. Coach. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Take care. Thanks.